Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you 5 ways to stop Apex Legends from crashing. But before we get started, if you are using a AMD Phenom CPU, then Apex Legends currently does not support that CPU. It just doesn't meet the minimum requirements. So like I said, if you are using one of those CPUs, there is no way to fix that issue. At the moment anyway. Right, the first step is cloud storage. You need to boot up Origin and once you have you need to go to the top left hand corner of Origin and click on Origin and you now need to click on application settings. You now need to go across to installs and saves and you need to turn cloud storage off. And there we go, as you can see my cloud storage is now off. Once you have done this Try booting up Apex Legends again and see if it works. And fingers crossed that might have fixed your game. If that has not fixed your game, then don't worry, we still have four more things to try. And the next thing is to close down a program called Discord. That's if you have the program anyway. Discord is a voice chat program and this is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure you would know if you do have it on your computer anyway. But people are finding Discord does make Apex Legends crash and also drop their frames per second. So if you are using Discord, don't use it for now, use TeamSpeak. I did find Discord was causing me a lot of problems and I have now switched over to TeamSpeak and I'm not having any issues. So when you do close down Discord, just make sure it has fully closed down and also check down in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and as you can see it's still running. Just right click and go quit Discord. And now try and boot up Apex Legends again and see how you get on. The next step is to make sure you are not running any other applications in the background. So go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and right click and click on task manager. And you now need to just go through all the processes. Like for example I've got CCleaner here, I can end that process. I can also end, well there's like loads of CCleaner running there for some reason, that's glitched out. But anyway, just go through, make sure there's no processes running that you shouldn't have. I mean, I could close this one down as well, Razor. And also, for example, close down your web browsers. If you've got a web browser open, close down your web browser. You don't need that running when playing Apex. And fingers crossed, that will help fix any issues you are having as well. If the game is still crashing... Then the next step is to go to the location that's in the description below and then you will end up in a folder that looks like this. You do need to go to your games folder for Origin which mine is installed on my E drive and then program files, Origin games, Apex and then easy anti-cheat. You may need to change the start bit on the hard drive. Once you are in this folder you now need to double click on easy anti-cheat setup and you need to just press repair service and this will now fix the easy anti-cheat service which may have been causing you problems as well if the service isn't running correctly then apex legends won't boot up and it will crash a lot once you have done that you can now try and boot up apex legends again and see if you get lucky if the game still isn't working then the next step is to go to your C drive and go to Windows. You now need to scroll down until you find a folder called temp. And once you have, you need to open up the temp folder and just go control and A and go delete. Don't worry, this is all temporary files that you do not need. If you can't delete a certain file, just press skip. It's just because the file is currently in use, which doesn't matter. Once you've deleted all the files in that folder, you now need to go back to your C drive and you now need to click on users. We now need to open up the user account that you are currently using and you now need to go to app data. If you can't see app data, 
Then go to the top left hand corner of your screen and click on file and then click on options. You now need to click on view and you need to make sure you've got show hidden files folders in drives selected and then hit OK. You will now be able to see the update folder and you need to open it. And you now need to open up the local folder and then open up the temp folder. And as you can see, there is an origin folder in this folder. We now need to delete all the files that are in this folder as well. And that's done as well. You can now try and boot up Apex Legends and fingers crossed that has fixed your issues. If you have managed to find another way that has fixed Apex Legends, then please comment below and help everyone else out. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.